Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with salmon medallions. That's right, not only will I show you an easy and delicious way to make salmon, I'm gonna show you what I think is a very clever technique for turning the least desirable cut of salmon into something absolutely fabulous. So basically this is one of those when life gives you lemons make lemonade type lessons. Although I've never actually got that saying, since I'll take lemons anytime. In fact, we're gonna use one with this. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with a piece of salmon that I will almost never buy. And that would be the dreaded towel section. Okay, when I purchase salmon, I always ask for a beautiful center cut piece. And that's because it's the same thickness all the way through. Unlike this one pound tail piece, which is thick at one end, but then tapers down to that very thin point at the other end, which makes it very tricky to cook. But by using this medallion technique, we're gonna turn this less than ideal cut into something very, very special. And the first thing we'll do here is remove the skin, which I like to do down on a paper towel, because a lot of times you'll have a few scales left on the skin, which will stick to the cutting board and then onto the meat, and then you're spitting out scales. And what we'll do is start our cut as close to that point as we can. And then because it's a little bit slippery, we'll use another paper towel to hold that skin as we cut. And grabbing that was definitely the hardest part of this whole step. And then what we'll do once we start our cut is use sort of a short sawing motion with the blade of that knife flat against the skin. And we actually wanna angle our knife very, very slightly towards the skin, like just a degree or two, since that stuff is very leathery and hard to cut through. And by doing that, we're gonna be able to trim that off without cutting into the meat. And if everything goes according to plan, we'll end up with a piece of skin that doesn't have any salmon and a piece of salmon that doesn't have any skin. And by the way, if you don't feel up for that, just have them do that for you at the store. I mean, it's the least they could do after selling you that crappy piece of salmon. And then once that's been skinned, we can go ahead and trim off any other connective tissue if we need. And in case you're wondering, the reason we bought a tailpiece was because it was very fresh wild king salmon on sale for a very good price. And these were the only kind of pieces they had. And then what we're gonna do once that's trimmed is split it right down the middle lengthwise, right directly through that white line in the center. Which by the way, if that feels kind of bony, you can trim that off too. But if it feels soft like mine did, I just leave it. It's probably good for you. And then once we have that divided in two, we'll cut each of those halves into three strips as even as we can. And I should mention in fairness, the one advantage of the tailpiece is you will almost never have to pluck out any bones. So we got that going for us, which is nice. And then once our strips are cut, we can form our medallions on a foil line baking sheet, which I've lightly greased with olive oil. And we'll take our first strip with the thickest part in the center, and we'll sort of wrap it around itself to form a spiral. And then we'll take our second piece, starting with the thinner end, and overlap it a little bit where we left off, and continue to wrap it around. And then for the third and last piece, basically anything goes. And we're just gonna try to position it, whichever way gives us the most uniform circle. And if you notice me flipping it over there, we always want the best looking side facing up. Oh, and don't worry too much about these staying together, as we are gonna fasten these with some foil to hold them together. Okay, so that's looking not bad. And I went ahead and did my second portion. Oh, and one thing to be aware of, don't use the three biggest pieces on one and the three smallest on the other. All right, make sure you mix and match so they're fairly even. And then what we'll do once our salmon has been medallioned is take about a 15 inch piece of foil, about four inches wide, and we'll fold that over a few times to make sort of a collar. And we'll use that to surround our salmon and kind of cinch it up. And once we have that in place, we'll kind of pinch and crimp those two pieces together. At which point we're just gonna do some fine tuning. Okay, we're gonna to try to get this as round as possible, as well as we want that salmon as uniform a thickness as possible. And then last but not least, we wanna press that foil down so that it's no higher than the salmon. In fact, it's probably even a little better if it's just below that top edge. And that's it, once both portions of salmon have been coiled and cuffed, we can move on to mixing up our secret sauce, which is nothing more than a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise, a little bit of cayenne, and then finally some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And believe it or not, this stuff is based on something called Alabama white sauce, which is usually made with mayonnaise, vinegar, and pepper. But since we're using this with salmon, I went with the lemon. But if you wanted, your favorite vinegar would work here. So that's up to you. I mean, you are after all the Italian stallion of your salmon medallion, which reminds me a nice garlic aioli would work as well. And then once that's mixed, we'll go ahead and season the top of our salmon with some salt, and we'll do that fairly generously. And then one season, we'll go ahead and slather on our sauce, dividing that as equally as we can between those two portions. And not only is this stuff gonna add some flavor, but it's also gonna sort of insulate our fish from the heat 
and it's going to help keep these medallions very, very moist. So we'll go ahead and spread that over, at which point these are ready to transfer into the center of a very hot 450 degree oven for just 10 minutes or so, or until our salmon is just barely cooked through, and looks like this. Okay, even though it was only in there for like 10 minutes, you're probably still going to get a little bit of browning on the top. And that's it. These are ready to serve as soon as we remove that foil collar, which I'm going to do with a fork and a pair of foil salmon collar tweezers. Or if you're careful, just use your fingers. And yes, I didn't, but you really should oil that foil before you wrap it around your salmon. Although this did come off pretty easily. And then once that was defoiled, I went ahead and plated it up on a beautiful shaved cucumber salad because I wanted to pretend I was at one of those fancy spas getting treatments. And I said treatments, not at a spa getting treatment. All right, that's a different kind of spa. And then I finished up with some freshly chopped dill because I had some around and it is really good with salmon. And that's it, I did a few last shakes of cayenne on the top just to stay in shape. And my salmon medallion was ready to enjoy. And that my friends was just an absolutely delicious, very flavorful, perfectly cooked piece of salmon. Okay, this really was very moist and had the most wonderful texture. And since we're only using a couple ingredients, that beautiful fresh salmon gets to be the star of the show. And we don't have to worry about making some kind of sauce to serve with it. Okay, we made that right along with the fish. So I really am a huge fan of this technique. In fact, this comes out so well, you might actually try to go buy a piece of salmon tail on purpose. But whether you do that intentionally, or you just happen to get stuck with one like me, I really do hope you give this a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe, and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.